Hey Keys Mods fans, this is David Fine and today we are going through some of the mods of the state of Florida and typically we're going over the mods of the Florida Keys and we've been going through the Sphinx mods or the Sphingidae of the Florida Keys and we've been going through the genus Eumorpha which is one of my favorite genuses of mods and they've got some of the bigger more showy Sphinx mods. guys. Uh, today we're going to focus on a species that's not actually found in the Keys, but is found in most of Florida. It's the Pandora Sphinx, Eumorpha Pandora. It is one of my all-time favorite mods, and I remember being a kid, just seeing it in books and just drooling over this big green moth with pink stripes and bands in it. And I'm going to show you this moth up close. It's a phenomenal moth. Doesn't live in the Keys, but it lives in North Florida and actually has quite a wide range. And uh, I'm gonna show you this moth right now. All right, the Pandora Sphinx moth, guys. Uh, again, I remember seeing this bug as a kid growing up in books and just being like, this thing is so amazing. And it is a gorgeous moth. When they are fresh, that this brownish color that's kind of like covering the body and the wings is actually more of an olive green and it is actually quite stunning and you can see the pink stripes in the hind wing and on the forewing and this greenish haze like kind of like a sunset color uh on the hind wing is quite remarkable underside not very descript but it's got some, kind of like this olive pattern uh, going on on the underside, which is quite nice. Now, they feed on grapes and Virginia creeper grapes and Pelopsis and the caterpillar, which I've never seen. Uh, I would love to raise one if anybody ever has uh, finds Pandora Sphinx eggs or caterpillars and feels like they want to bless the Keys Moths clan. Uh, you can ask me, and I, I would gladly pay for shipping if you wanted to ship me some caterpillars of this beautiful creature. Uh, they live in North Florida and have a wide range in pretty much all of the Eastern United States, all through Canada. This bug lives there. And, you know, anywhere there's grapevines or Virginia creeper or Ampelopsis, this, this bug will live. And I found them most commonly in the mountains of Tennessee and Northern Georgia is where I've found most of my um, Pandora Sphinx moths. Now, uh, there are several re similarly related species. We have the um, Ackerman Sphinx, which is probably not confusable, but uh, is a related species. And I would say if you were going to confuse any species with Pandora, it might be either the Vine Sphinx, Eumorpha vitis, or the banded sphinx, Eumorpha fasciatus. Now, the, the banded sphinx is way more common than the vine sphinx and actually has a much broader range and has much more of an overlapping range uh, with the Pandora sphinx. Uh, this guy does not feed on grapes. It feeds on primrose, but you can find them in some of the same areas. Now, this is more of a tropical species, and I've only ever seen two of these in my whole life in South Florida, both in the Keys both in the month of May, and I don't see them being too confusable. I don't see them having that much of a overlapping range. Now, there is, of course, the gaudy sphinx, Eumorpha labresca, and it's always a favorite, but again, not going to confuse that with the Pandora sphinx. But these are the five Eumorpha species that we have here in Florida, uh, but this is, we are focused on the Pandora sphinx moth. Now, uh, Pandora Sphinx is just one of those bugs. They, they do live in North Florida. Uh, they can be found in North Florida, but just not very commonly found in the, the, the state of Florida, but they do live here. Uh, but guys, here's the thing. Whenever you come across any large Sphinx moths like this and you, you're not clear on which ones they are because they can be kind of difficult to tell apart, especially when they're resting on a gas station wall or if you're out with a, with a light and you just take a picture or you have a specimen you want to know which one it is and you just can't tell them apart uh guys send me a send me a picture i'd be happy to help you identify it 
Yeah, you can email me at david at keysmoz.com or, uh, yeah, you guys check out my website because we're gonna have most of these pictured for you on the website. It's keysmoths.com and we have all 600 species of moths found in the Florida Keys documented and photographed there for you so there's no confusion. We've got tons of beauties here. And guys, I also wanna give a pitch for the Southern Lepidoptera Society. And if you wanted to join a group of people, men and women who are have dedicated their lives to the study of Lepidoptera and butterflies and moths in the Southern United States, uh, I got their website linked in the description of this video because they help, they've helped me over the last, oh, I'd say 25 years or so, identify a lot of things and come to know the, the Lepidoptera of the Southern United States, including the state of Florida and phenomenal, phenomenal group of people. So become a member, it's like 35 bucks or 30 bucks to, for a membership and you won't be disappointed. So guys, hope you liked the video. Pandora Sphinx, it's not a bug from the Florida Keys, but maybe it'll show up one day because we got plenty of grapevine down there, who knows. Uh, guys, give me a like. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And check out the website, keysmoths.com. We will show you all we know about the moths of the Florida Keys and of South Florida. Guys, till next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and let's find some beauties like this. Take care now.